In 2016, Andy Murray enjoyed the finest stretch of tennis in his career, winning his second Wimbledon title and his second Olympic gold medal, before ending the year on a 25-match winning streak. Titles in Shanghai, Paris, and the ATP Tour Finals vaulted Murray to the top of the ATP World Tour rankings and cemented his status as a future Hall of Famer. But in 2017, the injury bug struck. First, an elbow issue in the spring, then the hip. After a quarterfinal loss at Wimbledon, Andy didn't play a match for the rest of the year. Rest and rehab have not been enough to get him back to the tour. So the question now is, will Andy Murray make it back to the top of the men's game? That is this week's Tough Call. A tough call indeed, the dulcet tones of Russ Thaler, who will be joining you for some matches later this evening. Uh, what do you think, Justin? Will he return Andy Murray to the top of the men's game? I believe he will. Now, that being said, I have absolutely no medical history. I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express once. Uh, but the hip is a very challenging injury to come back for, uh, from. But my belief goes uh, directly, is directly parallel um, to my belief in his work ethic, his mentality, his commitment. He's such a warrior. He's got great timing and technique. Uh, he needs a little bit of luck with the hip and the rehab. I suspect he's going to have surgery. I think he's been in a little bit of denial about that. Now, how high he gets, that's impossible to determine. It's such a big variable with the hip. But I believe he'll be a top 10, top 5 player. He's the type of guy you just do not bet against because it means so much to him. Plus, he's so talented. Plus, he's so committed. And he's going to go that extra mile. You saw him do it in 2016 he destroyed his body unfortunately right now he's feeling the ramifications what do you think it's a really tough call no <laughs> I, I I think he'll either get back to the top of the game or we won't see him in the sport I, I mean I think it's not going to be sort of an in-between that's my guess so it's not um, that so we are calling it, we're calling total BS on that I'll be happy being I, 30 I'm right because I calling, totally yeah. that's not a tough call that is complete <laughs> not true. <laughs> I, I, I think that's, you know, the, the two ends the, of the spectrum for, um, for Murray. But as Justin said, that hip injury, I mean, we've seen very few players come back from that. And I think that's the bigger question. Can he come back from that injury? Can he get back onto the court with any level of consistency? And, and I think that's going to be tough. Um, hopefully he can. Um, but that's my call. Seems like the one thing he should do is consult with the one player that did come back, which is Tommy Haas, who's now the mm -hmm. tournament director of Indian Wells, and he's playing still into his 38, 39 years of age. Here are some of the guys that have had hip injuries. I've heard that hips don't lie, and you mentioned the one guy, Tommy Haas, who was able to come back and, and still play at the age he's at right now, but it's, it's a tough injury to come back what, from, what and especially ranking? right for a guy like Andy Murray who relies on his movement. Well, what ranking did Tommy get to though when he did when he was able to come back? What I'm trying to recall that iteration of his career. Yeah, he still got he still got pretty high. I think Tommy got to the semifinals of Wimbledon after that hip injury. So it's not going to be easy for Andy. And you said that that he's been kind of flirting with the fact that he, he didn't need the surgery. And uh, I, I speculate, actually, that he's kind of been in denial. I mean, no player wants to go under the knife. He's gone under the knife before, by the way. I mean, he had back surgery, came back, and won Wimbledon again. Like I said, this guy, I mean, he's a machine. I mean, his training, his fitness, his commitment, I mean, the way he stretches, I mean, the way he, this guy does not leave a stone unturned in his career, either physically, technically, in any possible way. He lives and breathes the sport and always has, um, and he was hoping that rehab w would cure this, but what's been a, a little bit curious is even through this process, we've seen him, first of all, during the course of the year when he was playing, it seemed like he was limping around. Mm -hmm. Then, even in the, the reports that we've gotten this fall, uh, in playing some exhibitions when he played in Scotland against uh, when he played an exhibition in Florida that he's been limping around. And, and then obviously in Doha, he didn't look great, yet he still jetted off to Brisbane as if he was going to play. And then it seemed like he finally uh, had that moment of truth uh, in that practice, that practice time when he didn't show up in Brisbane. But we all wish him the best. It's a tough call, and certainly we want to hear what you have to say. So join us on all of our social media. Put in your votes. Will Andy Murray return to the top of the men's game, yes or no? And, of course, later in the week we will tell you what you had to say about everything.